Welcome to the Moment Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm gonna to talk about the potential ways that you can stack cash back when using the Flues app. Now, for those that aren't familiar, Flues is a cash back app that allows you to earn cash back on your purchases, but not only your purchases, but also the purchases of the people you refer to the app. So it's also a network marketing app. So if you're not familiar with the Flues app, I did do a review of the Cashback app, as well as a separate video to talk about the network marketing portion of the app. So make sure you check those out. I'll have the links available below in the description. But today I'm just gonna talk about how you can stack with multiple Cashback apps or other discount apps using the Flues app. And so in the Flues review video, I showed a purchase where I went to Starbucks. Starbucks is typically one of the stores that I would use as far as earning automatic cash back with multiple cash back apps. And so in that example, usually when I go to Starbucks, I can earn cash back in three different ways. And so of course, with every cash back stacking strategy, it starts out with a credit card. And I use the Costco credit card, which gives you 3% whenever you make purchases at restaurants. And then I also earn automatic cash back or rather stock back with the Bumped app and the Bits of Stock app. And so with that combination, I get 3% back via the Costco credit card. I get half a percent back with the Bumped app and half a percent back with the Bits of Stock app bringing it to a total of 4% cash back on every purchase that I make at Starbucks. And those are automatic. All I need to do is use the Costco credit card whenever I make the purchase at Starbucks or within the Starbucks app when I make a purchase for a mobile order or paying using the app when I'm in the store. And because the Bumped app and the Bits of Stock app, they automatically recognize the purchase because once you connect your credit card to those two apps, any transaction that occurs on your credit card, those two apps will be able to read it and notice that Starbucks shows up on a statement. However, there is an issue with that when it comes to the Flues app, and I'll talk about that more. So does that negate the opportunity for me to stack cash back with the Flues app? Well, the answer is yes and no, and it depends on what store you go to or what store you shop at online. And so in my Starbucks example, because the Bumped app and the Bits of Stock app, they need to see Starbucks show up on your transaction for your credit card, those will not be able to stack with the Flues app. Because when you make a purchase using the Flues app, you're essentially making the purchase of a gift card and on your credit card statement, it's gonna show Flues as the transaction instead of Starbucks. And so because of that, any cash back or stock back app, which gives you automatic cash back based on reading the transactions on your credit card statement, then those won't be able to automatically stack with the Flues app because what you're gonna see on your statement is the Flues app instead of whatever store you're shopping at, like in my example, Starbucks. However, if you do have a cashback app that where you can use their actual app to make the purchase or where it sends you to the website that you're gonna shop at, for instance, if you're gonna buy something from Nike and you're shopping online, because specific apps may send you direct to Nike's website or they may use a Chrome extension, for example, to actually recognize the purchase when you're using their website, then those apps are still able to stack with the Flues app. And examples of apps that would allow you to stack with the Flues app in those situations situations would be the Rakuten app, the Drop app, the Ernie app, and the Dash app. And like I mentioned, the reason that those apps or apps similar to those are able to still recognize the purchase is because they're recognizing that you're just using the website. And so if you're using the Chrome extension, for example, with the Drop app, the Chrome extension is still gonna recognize that you're on that website, you activate the cash back, and then it doesn't matter what card you use or if you use a gift card to make your purchase, which in the case of Flues, you're essentially gonna use a gift card when you're on that website in order to make the purchase. And so you'll get the cash back from Flues and then you'll also get cash back from whatever Chrome extension that you use to recognize the purchase on that website. And so currently, as far as I'm aware, there is no cashback app, at least for Starbucks, where it will actually recognize your purchase without recognizing your specific credit card transaction. And so that's the only reason I'm unable to stack cashback with Flues and another cashback app. But I'm still earning whatever cashback I would receive on my credit card. And so with the Costco credit card, for any purchases that aren't in a special category, your cashback amount is just 1%. However, since if I decided to use the Flues app as my main cashback app, then I would use a different credit card that would give me a higher cashback return than my Costco card. And so one example would be the Capital One Quicksilver card, where it gives you one and a half percent cashback on all of your purchases, no matter what the category is. 
and the City Double Cash card, which gives you a 2% cash back on all of your purchases, no matter the category. And so if I were to use the Flues app as my main cashback app for stores where I'm unable to stack my cashback with other cashback apps, then I would definitely want to use the City Double Cash card, which gives me a 2% cash back on all of my purchases or any other card that gives you a higher amount of cash back just on your general purchases on your non-special category purchases. And so in general, just with any cashback app, you of course want to use the app that's going to give you the most cash back. And it doesn't really matter whatever the combination, whether it's you're using just one app or you're using two apps plus your credit card, whatever you're using, you want to use the one that's going to give you the most cash back. And so with the Flues app, when you first sign up using my referral link, you will get three 35% cashback vouchers, which will allow you to get 35% cashback on up to $10 of your purchase. Now, anything beyond $10, you would get whatever the normal cashback is. So using the example of Starbucks, their normal cashback in their app is 2%. However, when you use one of the 35% vouchers, which you will receive free as a bonus when you sign up using my referral link, you actually receive three of them. Then the first $10 that you spend at Starbucks, you'll get $3.50 of that as cash back. And then if you spend more than $10, let's say you spend $20, the additional $10 that you spend, you would only get 2% cash back, giving you an additional 20 cents cash back, that being a total of $3.70 on your $20 Starbucks purchase. And then even after you have the app, if you yourself invite others to the app, you will receive one voucher for every person that signs up using your referral link. And so every time you invite someone, you get an additional 35% voucher. And not only that, but every person that you invite, whenever they use the Flues app and they earn cash back, you'll earn a percentage of that as well. And I talk about that in my review video as well as the network marketing opportunity. So make sure you check those videos out to learn more about earning cash back on purchases that your friends make or your family when you invite them to the app. Now for an unexpected boost in cashback, one other way that you can stack, or at least for specific categories on certain credit cards, is with office supplies. Now when Flues is shown on your credit card statement, it is recognized as an office supply store. And so if you have a business credit card, which this is typically only shown on business credit cards, but they'll usually have an office supply category where you can receive boosted cash back. Some cards even have up to 5% in that specific category. And so if you happen to have a business card or if you happen to have any credit card that gives a boost in the office supply category, then the Flues app will should be considered within that category. And so you could potentially earn more than the general one or one and a half or 2% cash back that you could receive on a city double cash card. And one additional benefit of linking your credit card to Flues, although it won't automatically recognize the store as far as giving you cash back what you can do is you can sign up for the what's called the missed earnings and so if you connect your credit card to the flus app and you turn on the missed earnings option within the app flus will check your credit card statement to recognize any stores that you could have earned cash back at and so that way it will give you a notification to say hey you shopped at Starbucks for instance but you forgot to actually use the flus app when you made your purchase here's a reminder that you could earn 2% cash back or whatever the amount of cash back will be at that time. And also if you had a voucher, of course, then you could have used that voucher at Starbucks. Then of course you could have earned 35% cash back on up to $10 of your Starbucks purchase. And so make sure you turn that feature on if you are using the Flues app. That way, if there's a store that you go to a lot, eventually it will continue to remind you that, hey, you need to use the Flues app because you're missing out on cash back. And then that'll get you into the habit of actually checking the Flues app or checking other apps that you use that don't automatically earn you cash back. And so as a reminder, if you do use my referral link, when you first sign up, you will receive three 35% vouchers and any person that you invite to the app after you have signed up, you will receive one 35% voucher for each person that you add. And the more people that you add to your network, the more people that you invite, the more cash back you can earn because it's not just the cash back that you'll earn when you shop, but you'll also get cash back whenever the people that you refer whenever they shop, whenever they use that Flues app on a consistent basis. And so this is a great way to earn residual or passive income because when your friends shop, you know, especially if you have some friends that go shopping all the time or they eat out all the time, 
you can earn cash back from those purchases as well. And of course, they'll get the larger sum of that cash back. And so they'll benefit from it as well. So make sure you tell all of your friends and family about the app and make sure you invite them. Or you can send them to me if you don't wanna use it. Use my referral link, send it to them. I'll be happy, your friend will be happy. You don't have to worry about it. But everyone should sign up. It's a great way to earn a little extra money on all of your purchases. So you're essentially making every transaction that you make is becoming an opportunity for you to earn cash back. And then you can use that cash back as ways to invest in the stock market. That's how I like to use my cash back, either to pay off the credit card that I'm using to make those purchases or to actually invest that cash back. Think of that cash back as money that you never would have had anyway. You didn't work for it to earn it. All you did was make a purchase that you would normally make anyway. And that's a free way to get money to invest in the stock market. And so I actually had a video where I talk about Anyone can invest in the stock market. You literally don't need to have any discretionary income, any extra money that doesn't go towards bills. You can think of this as a way to get started investing in the stock market. If the only reason that you're not investing is because you think you don't have enough money, earning cash back is a great way to get started investing in the stock market as well. And so I also do a lot of reviews of investment apps, many of them which allow you to buy fractional shares with as little as $1, M1 Finance being one of those. And I have all of the links to the referrals as far as investment apps, they're in the description below as well on all of my videos. So make sure you check those out. So what do you think about the Flues app so far? You have multiple ways that you can earn cash back, either through your purchases or the purchases of your referrals. And you can also earn 35% cash back on up to a $10 purchase. When you first sign up, you'll get three free vouchers. You get a free voucher every time you invite someone. And so just let us know how you use the Flues app, what you think about the Flues app, how do you like this cashback stacking strategy? Do you prefer when you can get the automatic cash back with other apps like the Bumped app or the Bits of Stock app and other cash back apps out there? Or are you willing to dive into the apps and look to see where you're gonna get the most cash back and then use your computer to use the Chrome extension with apps like Rakuten and Drop and Ernie and, and apps of that nature. And so let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.